Hello guys, thank you for tuning in. Today we have a video for those of you who maybe not uh, have not uh, migrated to IntelliJ yet from uh, from Eclipse, or you have not used any editors before. Uh, we're gonna I'm basically gonna, uh, gonna show you where to install it from, how to install it, uh, how to set the JDK if IntelliJ does not see it. Uh, by default, and then we'll do a quick uh, Hello World program. So let's get started and download the Community Edition for free. And don't worry, I'll give the link in the description where to uh, download it from. So make sure to check that out. Just wait for it to download. And then we can run it. Okay, shortcut, new preference. Um, if you want all of the Java files and GUI files to be associated with IntelliJ, um, make sure to check this. All right, almost done. And then we're gonna run it. Now we're just gonna accept defaults. And then IntelliJ will give you an option to choose between uh, two different themes. You can have a white one like this, or you can have a darker one. Uh, you can pick whichever one you prefer. I prefer a darker one. And then it's going to start. And here we can, you know, create a new project, import a project, open existing one. So we'll just create a new project. And let's see, right here we see that IntelliJ did not find my JDK. So we're going to go and say new, and we're going to point it towards JDK on our system. So we're going to go to Program Files, Java, we find JDK here. All right, OK, OK. And then here we're going to accept all the defaults. And we'll just create a new project, call it Test, just to test that everything is working. And we'll do a quick Hello World type of thing. So we're going to go to Project. So here you have your Java uh, libraries by default come with uh, Java 1.8 in this case. And then here we have a root uh, project directory. So here's a source. You can uh, right click on source, add new Java class, and just call it main. <clears throat> and then we see that uh, idea is trying to index everything right now because this is the first launch and we just gave it the JDK. So there is a bunch of things that it needs to do and this is the progress of the indexing thus far so anything that we write right now is not going to be executed but we still going to create a main method right now so we can say public static void main can we do something like this. So now we just got to wait for the indexing to finish and then we can run a, a little program to see if it works. So indexing is about done. Okay, so it's done and we see that there's some changes that we, uh, vi uh, visible changes. Now we have uh, code highlighting. Okay, so um, now we can run a code to run uh, the, the program. We can go to the Run menu and select Run. We can right click on a method, main method, and select Run. We can select the main class and select Run. Or another new uh, feature that was uh, 
introduced in version 15 is this icons here. We can click on them and select run as well. So let's see if it can execute it. Allow permissions and we see that our program ran just fine. So that's how we get started with IntelliJ. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Take care.